day two in Kalimpong. Um, it's been an amazing, amazing day. We started off sightseeing, so Som took us around the monastery and we went up a hill and saw this amazing view. Um, and we were all stoked and being the typical tourists, but the afternoon was what we were looking forward to. We were spending time with the BSA children again, so we saw them um, at their homes. And these were 50 girls and 50 boys who had been rescued from child labour by the Clooney sisters. And um, so we got to play some sports with them. So we went onto their fields and they showed us, first of all they showed us their karate because they all do karate at school. Um, and it was incredible, like incredible to see how strong they were and how into it they were and how serious they took it. And just how, how much resilience they've got. Um, and like cute as kids doing little backflips and stuff for us on the field, it was just insane. Um, and then they started doing like sack races and um, things like that, just like a little sports day. And that was awesome, eh? And Shreya was like the best MC in the world and they just had so much fun. Um, so I personally spent some time with the kids who were waiting to get onto the races or with the kids who were sick, um, who couldn't do the races, so I was just up there sort of chilling with them. And that was the best, I thought, um, the best time I could have spent with them. I um, was surrounded by a couple of little girls um, and one of them, Tulsi, she was the most gorgeous little girl in the world and she was so intelligent, so intelligent and so curious to find out everything about New Zealand. She was trying to learn Māori and she was trying to teach me Nepali and she was just, yeah, she was beautiful. Um, so I spent a while talking to her about what she wanted to do and she wanted to become a teacher and I thought that was great. And um, on my other side there was a little girl, um, her name was Shukti, and she had sunglasses on her face and I, I didn't really click. I thought it was just like an anomaly, I just like wearing sunglasses kind of thing. But um, yeah, and so we spent some time together and she started singing to me because she loves singing and she was oh, like, Beyonce, but better. She was insane, insanely beautiful voice. Um, and she just sang me her favourite songs and we just kept singing to each other. And I sang her some Jason Mraz and she sang me some traditional Nepali songs. And it was just crack up when she, um, she whipped up Justin Bieber, so she started singing Justin Bieber to me. And um, the rest of the class joined in and they started singing My Heart Will Go On from Titanic. And that was just like, that was just the best because I could see that we connected across cultures. Through, um, through Justin Bieber, surprisingly. <laughs> but um, halfway through one of the songs, she sort of stopped and she held my hand and she took off her sunglasses and um, she was blind. So her eyes were sort of closed and her left eye was really fluttery and, and her right eye, her eyelid had been burnt or so it was scarred anyway and it was... Um, yeah, no, it was just pretty humbling to see that she had gone this far with that sort of impediment, but she wasn't even treating it like an impediment. It was just, it was just so heartwarming to see her happiness and how it didn't affect her much at all. But that just broke my heart to know that she couldn't have, she couldn't have seen my face and she couldn't have seen a lot of what up a lot of the joy that she bought me when she was singing because I was just smiling all the time because I just knew that she would make it big. Um, yeah, and so that was, that was pretty, <laughs> that's a pretty um, challenging sort of experience. But um, then she put her sunglasses back on and we just, we just started singing again and it was, it was just great. Um, and so after that I just sort of I realised how much potential these kids have, they're just like any other kid. There's skills that they have, talent that they have, passions that they have, and determination to make it big. And I just, I really want them to have the same opportunities that we do. And knowing that Clooney sisters are striving for that, and GFF are striving for that, and now P3 are striving for that, just makes my heart beat so much harder for these kids knowing that they've been through everything that a kid should not have been through but still they've managed to hang on to that potential um, to be utterly fantastic and to add value to our society 
um, yeah, so um, and I know that I'm going to have moments like this all the time throughout this trip and I just, it just makes my heart so much bigger and, and wanting to do so much more to help these kids reach their potential. Um, so with that in mind we sort of came back and just chilled out and had a chat and a debrief and then we had dinner it was amazing as usual because Susan is absolutely gorgeous in every way and <laughs> she's an amazing cook as well um, and now we're going to have a Bollywood night because um, Shreya and Shubi and Basha are determined to make us familiar with Bollywood so we're going to go have a girls Bollywood night and paint our nails like um, <laughs> like we're in New Zealand which is awesome so yeah, looking forward to many, many more days like this. Cool.